Hello all. Today we are going to discuss about how to write business and functional requirements for a feature from amazon.com. So first I'll explain this feature from amazon.com. So I'll go into it and then I'll explain how that feature works. So once I explain it fully and once you understand it, I'll share my screen and I will write the business and functional requirements right in front of you so that you can understand it better. So it's going to be real time that. And before we go into the topic, please do hit the subscribe button and please do hit the like button if you want to see more of this kind of content. So yeah, let's go into the video and topic. What we are going to do now is we are going to take Amazon application as an example. And I'm going to show a specific feature, explain what that feature does. And then we will write the business and functional requirements for it. That way you will know how to write business and functional requirements. Now, one point to note in real time, we write the business and functional requirements. They'll code it. Then comes the feature. Then the feature gets generated, right? But now we are doing it in the reverse. I want you to show the feature first. And then with reference to that feature, we are going to write business and functional requirements so that you can understand better. Okay. So don't get confused. Having said that, let's go into the specific module that I'm going to show you. And I'm going to pick a feature and we are going to write the business and functional requirements for that. So the module is nothing but the customer service module. This is the module that I'm talking about. So I'm going to click on this. Oh, sorry. This is the module that I'm talking about. So I'm going to click on this. It's going to take me to the customer service module. And we are going, the feature that I'm going to pick is find a missing package that shows delivered feature. So this is that feature. Okay. So now I'm clicking on it. So let's, let's, let's first go through what this feature does. So if I click on this, I can go and see, uh, I can go and figure out Okay, in the case where the app shows it's delivered, the package is delivered, let's say I buy a phone. The app says it's delivered, but in reality, when I opened the door, I did not see a phone. I checked my mailbox, I did not see a phone. So the app so shows that my phone is delivered, the package is delivered, but in reality, I don't see my package. So that's when we use this feature. So first, it has a find a missing package that shows as delivered display text there is a video that that explains what needs to be done so can't find your package what needs to be done so there is a demo that the it shows step by step what we are going to do um what are the next steps ahead etc so we are not going to go through that but yeah so this video in a nutshell tells you what you should do step by step if you don't see your package and the app shows that the package is delivered. Ask the relevant carrier if there is more information about the location of the package. So if there is a specific carrier, they also give you the option of contacting them to get more information. So if I click on this, I get all the carrier information, carrier information, That's UPS, US Postal Service, Amazon, so many other carrier information so that you can call them and, and, and inquire about your missing package. And there's also a dialog box that shows whether this information was helpful or not. So this is the feature that we are going to document. Um, so step number one, click on customer service. Step number two, scroll down, you will see this feature. This is the feature that we are going to document in the case where there is a package that goes missing. I don't see my package. I click on this. Then I go through this video. This video tells me what I should do. And the, the this feature also gives me the ability to contact carriers uh, and figure out where my package is. So I'm going to write the business requirements for this. So let's break this down step by step. Let's first document the button. Um, so 
So the name of this page is um, the customer service page. What will be the first business requirement? The system shall provide the, and what's the name of the system? Amazon. That's the name of the application. So you need to put the name of the application in here. So the Amazon system shall provide the ability to search for missing packages. So that's the business requirement. So I'm just gonna put it into a table. So I just need to do insert and then table. And I'm just gonna put this in here. PR one, and this is going to be pasted in here. I don't think we need this column. So we can delete this. Now, first functional requirement will be a carbon copy of what's in here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it. It's gonna copy this, gonna paste it. If uh, 1.2, Amazon system. So what's next? shall provide the ability to for the user to um, the Amazon system shall provide shall educate the user about the next steps ahead if there is a missing a missed package or a or the case where the package is not there and the app shows it's delivered so the Amazon system must show a how to a video on what to do next if there is a package that the app shows it's delivered and in reality it's not delivered so i'm going to write the functional requirement for this video the amazon system shall educate the user on the next steps ahead if the package is missing and the system notifies the user that the package is delivered. So that's this video. Next one is career contact information. So let's write a functional requirement for this. Um, so it has all the phone numbers of the uh, carriers and contact information. So the functional requirement 1.3 is the Amazon system shall provide the ability to the end user to see the relevant carrier details, which includes phone number, email, and address. So I'm just talking about all the information, all the contact information that you see in here. I think just in a hypothetical scenario, you will also get to see the email and the address. So I don't see it here, but then let's think of a hypothetical scenario where you do see the email and address. So that's this. And apart from this, uh, let's talk about this feature also. Let's document this feature also. Was this information helpful? So, and you can give a yes or no, and you'll get the feedback. So FR 1.4, the Amazon system shall provide the ability uh, to the user to give feedback on whether the carrier details, relevant carrier details that are displayed is helpful or not so this is the uh, this is another uh, functional requirement 
which is going to cover this feature. And we covered this feature and we covered um, the, the video that we saw. So all these things are covered. Um, so we have covered this video feature that you see. We have covered this button. We have covered all these display text. And once you are done, of course, you can give this separate colors. Okay, now this looks good. Hope you are able to gather something of essence from this short video. Uh, and if you like the video, please do hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed and you like this content, please do hit the subscribe button. I cannot stress this enough. And if you have a video request, please do comment below. And if you have any other question, any doubt, please do comment below. Feel free. And uh, so I'm giving away uh, Business Analyst, Scrum Master and Systems introductory content for free. So if you want that content, just comment with your email ID. I'll send you the video. And always remember, it's a pleasure training you. Thank you.